Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is part two. Part one is clothing I sold on Poshmark, which I am going to put that video over on my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So be sure that you are subscribed to that channel. And if you're interested in clothing, please go over to that channel and look for the Poshmark clothing items video. And in this video, I'm going to share with you hard goods that I sold on Poshmark. I really, really like selling hard goods on Poshmark. Um, these items were cross-posted to eBay and Mercari, and they sold fastest on Poshmark. So I kind of like to tell people that because it gives you an idea of things that might sell better on Poshmark. And that is why I cross post my items. I do use List Perfectly. It is an extension. It does cost month, a monthly fee, um, but it's worth every penny. It, it speeds things up so much. So it saves me time, 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 and time is money. So if you want to check that out, there's a video in the description that shows you how I use List Perfectly. And you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLA Buddies, all one word. So feel free to message me with questions. I'll do the best I can to answer them. Um, I do not use the catalog at this time. It's something I would like to do in the future. But at this time, I'm just starting on eBay and then cross posting to Mercari and Poshmark. You guys ready to see some BOLO items? Um, BOLO stands for be on the lookout if you're new here. And I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started. All right. The first item is Playtown wooden figures. Now, I have never seen these. I had no idea what they are or where they come from. And I still don't know where they come from. But um, I think I used Google Lens to find these. And check out the horse. It's like part wood part plastic, just very, I don't know. But uh, these came in a mystery box and I was like, they're cool, I'm gonna list them and they sold pretty quickly. Um, I sold these for $15. The next item I sold is this vintage abalone shell stretch bracelet. This came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I did a whole series on this. I went and I picked up 344 pounds of jewelry that I bought off someone on eBay who I went and met because she lived in Pennsylvania and I lived in Ohio. So we met and we ended up becoming friends. She's super sweet, super nice. And um, yeah, I got a great deal. I've put a lot of work into it, but my whole idea was I'm going to unbox it on my YouTube channel. That was part of the reason that I was so excited about it. And I still have so much to list. I won't even go there. But I have a bunch of unboxing videos on this channel. If you guys want to go check them out, some of the items are listed. Some of them, most of them are not. But um, I will get to them someday. But uh, yeah, that series kind of flopped, unfortunately. So any of my unboxing and sourcing videos are now going to be on my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So if you like that kind of stuff, definitely go over there. I will have one from time to time on this channel, but most of them are going to be on that channel. And there's a link down in the description of the video for that as well. The next item I sold is this waxing poetic. Um, it's uh, an F and this is 925. Let me get you what it looks like on the back. I got, I think seven or eight of these in a dibble box and a dibble box is um, I bought it from a YouTube auction from Donatella Bottolino and it's called a dibble box. It's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And it's basically a reseller box. And I was bidding on an auction at, um, on Donatella's channel. And I bid this auction up to $110. And if you want to see what I got in the box, I think it was like over $800 that I'm going to make on this box. It was amazing. But I was bidding against other people. So I did go up to 110. And you guys know, like, I'm so cheap. So uh, go check out that video to see what else um, was in it. It was a great box. But I think I have two of these left in uh, different letters. But this sold for $22. Here is the um, signature or branding. What do you call that? It's signed. And it is 925. But these little um, charms, pendants, they have, they sell with the um, initial. Yeah, F, 
letter F. All right, the next item I sold is this lift and flat, lift the flat books. And if you guys watch my sourcing with Polo Buddies, I did a, um, I do my what solds over there from the weekend. And this was one of the items and I hold them up and I show you guys. And this item was kind of a wah, wah. By the time Poshmark took their fee and I added them the discounted shipping, I made like a dollar. But um, I did get some really sweet comments of people that were appreciative that I share with them my failures also. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to try books. And I paid like, I think $2 each for these. So not a good bolo item. So skip that one, guys. Now, if you can get these at a garage sale for like 10 cents, by all means, definitely do it. But don't pay $2 for them like I did. I just wanted to make sure my screen share was up. Okay. The next item I sold is this Creations de Paris pocket watch pendant. I got this from a garage sale. This one to, did take a little while to sell, but um, you know, that's kind of how it is with jewelry. The next item I sold is this Frozen Elsa and Anna reversible doll. And you can see um, this is my photo. You will see it. Someone else is using it on Poshmark, which whatever, I don't care. Um, but I was like, I was searching for it because I had two of them. And I'm like, where's the other one? Like, why isn't it listed? And I saw their listing. And I'm like, oh, there it is. And then I'm like, wait a minute, that's not my listing. So um, yeah, so somebody else is using my photo, but that's fine. Um, and then this Batman plush. So they bought the two items for a bundle price of $20. And I had this listed at 25 because it's a harder to find reversible doll. And I had this listed for 14 and somebody offered me 20 for both. And I'm like sold. So I am very negotiable on my pricing. Um, sometimes it depends on the day. Like if I have sold nothing that day, I am more inclined to take a low ball offer. So, um, yeah, 20 bucks. I was happy with that. Uh, these plush I pick up for usually a dollar or less. The next item came out of a, um, it was a reseller box from Donatella's auction, but this was the very first one that I bought and I paid $25 for it. It was before her auctions, um, had tons of people and I got a steal of a deal on this box. $25 free shipping. I have a video on that one also. Oh my goodness. I got so much stuff in this box. It was amazing. But this was just kind of one of those items where I said I was going to list the whole box and I did. And this was, I was like, I don't know if it'll ever sell, but I'm going to list it. And I sold it for $10. So I was super excited. It's CMC reading glass necklace holder. Um, nothing special, just like to hold your glasses. It's cute. But again, probably not. It, it's a long tail item. But yeah, I was like, I'm listing everything in the box. And she had like a little baggie of jewelry. And this was one of the items in it. And basically, when Donna does her jewelry, she takes it and she drops it in a bag and doesn't look at it. So you can get some really great deals. The next item I sold came out of a mystery box. This is super cute. It's kind of got that primitive country look to it. It's a pillar candle and it's a wood wrap little Halloween. It's super cute. Um, I did take a best offer of 10 bucks on that and was happy to see it go. The next item is this American Girl wheelchair. It was broken. Um, one of the right here on the arm was missing but it still sold. I did take a best offer of $20 on this and it was missing that part. So that was good. Uh, I can't, I think that was a garage sale for a couple bucks or something. All right. These are, um, this is a great bolo. These are the Hasbro Sesame street workshop figures and they're dated 2010 and 2011. Now I probably could have sold these individually for more, but I decided to lot these up and I sold these for $60 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are some of my cat's meow. I bought a bunch of these at a garage sale. So I've got pennies in these. Um, I would say probably less than a dollar for the four items. And I sold these for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this retired Boyd's Bear Katie B. Berry Proud TJ's. 
And I, she's not very big, but she is not the ones that are going for crazy money right now. If you guys have not watched my Boyd's Bear video, go check it out. I don't know why there are certain ones that are trending right now. I have no idea why. By the time this video posts, I'm not sure if they will still be trending. So make sure you check out that video, but make sure you do your research to see if they are still trending because something's definitely going on with those. And you can find that video by searching um, my YouTube channel for Boyd's Bears. The next one is this Express Black Circle Scarf. This came from a discount store. I've got a buck or two in it and I sold it for 10. So that one, eh. Uh, this Monster High doll, she has no clothes. She's naked. And I got her from a garage sale. She is from 2008. I did get great feedback saying that her she was better than they thought. And I'm looking at this hair like, whoa. Um, I put hair needs washed and styled. Yeah, the hair definitely needs needs a little help. <laughs> and if you would like to know how to fix hair on dolls, go over to my reseller treasure. She has a video on it. I did post it in my Facebook group, my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. But um, if you just go directly to her YouTube channel, you can um, find out how to fix Barbie hair. She did it on Barbie hair, but I think Barbie hair and Monster High hair is probably the same. But anyway, I sold her for about, I sold her for $12 and had about probably 50 cents or less in her. The next item I sold is this emoji poop. It's a poo plush pillow face. <laughs> I don't know. I got, I, I forget where I got it. Um, I don't know if it was in a mystery box or a, I, I buy plush all the time at garage sales, but I probably had 50 cents or less in it and I sold it for $9. The next item is this costume jewelry bangle bracelets lot. Some really cute bracelets. I just decided to lot them up and I sold these for uh, $24 and I had probably a dollar or two in these. They came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I'm maybe a dollar or less. The next item is this Lego Bionicle. I bought a bunch of Lego Bionicles in a bulk buy. So I don't know, a buck or two in this. And I sold this for $45. The next item is this vintage trucker snapback hat. And I did learn from Tim on Over the Years YouTube channel that this is called scrambled eggs. And I guess that's a good keyword to put in your title. I called it gold leaf. <laughs> So I don't know if it would have sold quicker or for more money if I would have put scrambled eggs. But um, yeah, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. I sold this for $20, picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents. The next item are these making memories eyelets with case. I don't even know what these are for. Um, I picked them up in a big craft lot at a garage sale and I only put this item on Poshmark. I don't know why, but um, I think because I listed all the craft items and I thought people would bundle and they did. I sold a bunch in bundles when I, it was back uh, during quarantine. I listed a bunch and people bundled like crazy. Um, and I think I sold a lot of it too cheap, but these took a little while longer. And again, I don't know what they're for, but they sold for $12. The next item is this House of Lloyd Christmas frame. I think this came out of a mystery box and it says me and Santa. So it's just a frame and I sold this for $17. The next item I sold are these Thomas the Train um, trains. And I will look them up individually a lot of times. Like this train was a little bit harder to find train. So I listed it at $12. These are from the Sodor uh, playset. So I put them together in a lot. And then these are like you pull them and they have a string and then they come together when they drive. Um, and I had those at 22. Somebody offered me 40 for all of them. I went ahead and took that. I picked these up at garage sales pretty cheap. Sometimes I get them in mystery boxes, um, but probably had $5 in or less in all of them. The next item I sold is this Briar Amelia 2014 horse of the year. She's in the original box. This came from a garage sale. I had about three, two or three dollars in it. I can't remember one sale. I think it was $2 and I bought a whole bunch of new old stock items. Um, but yeah, yep. Pretty cool. Sold it for $80 you guys. So that was definitely a bolo, a lucky find for sure. The next item came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay 
344 pounds, almost 350. I put 350 um, just because it's just a rounded up number. But uh, yeah, sold these for $12. They're super cute. They're, they have the magnetic closure, so they're real easy to put on yourself. But um, I've got quite a bit of jewelry listed and quite a bit left to list. All right, you guys, those are my hard goods that I sold on Poshmark. If you would like this to see the clothing from the same time frame, you can go over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and check that out. As always, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And oh, that list perfectly videos down there too, if you guys want to check that out. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.